Hi guys, so we're going to do clone detecting other clones. So what we need to do is first of all create a costume. I'm just gonna use a red block. That's gonna be my clone. I'm gonna make him about 20 by 20, right? The resolution is pretty poor, so you won't be able to read this number, but it says 20 by 20. We're just gonna name him clone or Clones. We're gonna go when flag clicked. Hide when it sounds a clone. Sure. So we want to see the clone, but we don't want to see the sprite. Pretty basic. Now we need to create some more clones. So repeat twice. Create clone of myself. So here we've got two clones, awesome. And we need these clones to have identity. So we're gonna make a variable called clone counter. Another one called clone ID. For the sprite only, by the way. Set clone ID. Set, I think, I, yeah, I can just write that. I'm gonna go change clone counter by one. I'm gonna go counter, bigger here. So, clone ID to clone counter um, just to give you an example just to showcase it to you say ID so you'll see that its clones have their very own number now that's their identity so we can set this number to five and it will work with however many we make so one two three four five awesome you can get rid of this now so let me show you something. When we want to detect clones, well, when we want a sprite or a clone to detect a different sprite or a different sprite's clones, we would usually go to the sensing and we'll just grab a touching block. Um, but the problem is, uh, is that we can get sprite options but we can't get clone options this means that we need our clones to store their positions so that way other clones know where they are and from there they can tell if they're touching them or not by the way you can delete this one here so we're going to go to variables Make a list x y. So add duplicate y. Just chuck that one in there. I'm gonna go replace id x position duplicate. Change this one to y position. Change this one to y. Ah, uh, awesome. So. Now our clones have their positions being stored. We didn't notice a problem. We have a lot more than two variables in each list. So we need to go in flag clicked, delete all of X and delete all of Y. So now there's no more than two variables in each list but we have a new problem. That problem is that there is only one where there's actually going to be two. So all we have to do is go wait zero seconds, chuck that one in there. Sweet. Uh, this is caused because as this one creates a clone and creates some variables in the lists, this guy runs and he deletes it. So we just need to wait until he's deleted them. Then we can continue. Sweet. So now <clears throat> we can actually detect the other clones. So create a block. I'm just going to call this one sent. Go run without screen refresh. Chalk that one down here. Go here. When I start as a clone, forever sent. Oh, I'm just going to. Turn it off there. So you can just turn it on there. 
So now we can actually do the cool stuff. Actually, a lot of it is not cool. A lot of it is tedious. Anyways, we're going to go repeat by length of x. This is the how many variables are in, or how many slots are in the x list. So repeat. Then we're going to do a if statement. Oh, actually, we're going to need to create a variable first. For this sprite only, by the way, let's go i. i is short for iteration. So go set i to 0. Actually, yeah. And go change i by 1. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to check through each value in the lists. So if I just right here, uh, I'm just going to make like five. So we're going to have this uh, code. It's going to check number one, and it's going to check number two, and it's going to check number three, and it's going to check number four, and then number five, right? But if we're clone number one, we don't want to check number one because that's our value. That's our position. We only want to check against other positions. So we're going to go if um, id equals i, oh, add an a not. And then we can continue. Uh, by the way, this is the tedious part. If Oh boy, I hate this part. Really, I have to like think about the numbers for a sec. Um, okay, so yeah, item one. So go ID. So now we're grabbing our position. By the way, when I say our position, I mean the clone we're referring to, as an example. So grabbing our position, our clone's position, and then we're going to go against the clone we're checking position. So I, you know, we could have just duplicated that. Uh, by the way, this is the part where we use our costume size. So as I said before, the size of this costume is 20 by 20. So here we're going to put 20, and we're going to chuck that one in there. Sweet. So I'll just kind of explain what's going on here. Well, you can kind of read the numbers and see for what's going on. Um, 20 minus the clone that we're checking's position is the edge, like the very right side of that clone. So in this clone here, see this plus here, that would represent zero. And if we were to go 20 across, 20 pixels across, we would be at 20. So 20 here, and then duplicate that zero. So I hope you can kind of see what I mean. So if I uh, duplicate this and bring it over here, actually, I'll break that up next time. Just hold on a second. So this is going to the very right side of that. So we're checking if our value is greater than the very right side of this costume or clone. And now we want to go and duplicate, by the way, change this one to this symbol, and then change this one to a plus. So now what we're doing over here is, oh wait, I'm not going to duplicate it, is we're 
checking to see if we're greater than this side or if we are to the right of its far left, right? Oh, by the way, I just realized um, I am a little bit retarded. That would be negative 20, wouldn't it? Anyways, you get what I mean. I hope you get what I mean. Sometimes I'm not very good at explaining things. It is very hard for me to explain. I'm sorry. So anyways, um, if you understood, good for you. But if you didn't, I understand why I'm not very good at explaining things. So anyways, we also have to do another and. See what I mean by this is kind of tedious? That's because we've done the x position, but now we need to do the y position. So, I mean, it's actually pretty simple. Just change this to y, change this to y, change this to y, change this to y. Uh, by the way, a tip, put the y one in here first at the very back, and then go here. Try and grab it, chuck it in here. Awesome. Okay. So, now we've got all the, the annoying stuff out of the way. So just to kind of like debug it, can I just show it to us? Um, we need to create another, another one, okay? For the sprite only, of course. Um, it's kind of a weird one, being touched. I, you know, we could write down collision or interacting or you could just do what I did being touched so set being touched to zero and then set being touched sorry set being touched to one so you know if this statement here has big lot of green and red and orange is true, then we're going to set being touched to one because you would be colliding or touching another clone. So now we can come over here when I start as a clone forever. If being touched equals one. Now, what should we do? Uh, we'll just say for zero seconds, hi. Okay, let's test that out and we'll just create like five, six of these guys. So, check, does that work? Okay, a lot of them are saying hi. Okay, so we've got this guy. None of them are touching each other. But now I put him and him. Now they're both saying hi. Um, perhaps it would be a lot nicer if we just change the color or something. Change color to... Oh, we're just going to set the color. We're just go if else. Set the color. Set the color. 25. Cool, so if you're orange, you're chilling. But if you're being touched, you're red. See that? Isn't that awesome? Um, I just noticed a problem. Oh, no, we're chilling. So, yeah. Um, I hope that worked for you. If not, I will link the... Um, this project in the description or in the comments so that way you know if you're lazy or perhaps you yourself is having a hard time with this you can just you know go to the project which by the way I think that's cheating but whatever now uh, name it to clone detect clone Awesome. So that's that's that. Now I just gotta try and make a thumbnail for this video.